I even say anything, I, I, I would like to sort of go into defense mode over this thing. As cramp-inducing and as stupid looking as it looks, uh, from our modern perspective, this is actually a brilliant uh, piece of design and problem solving. Um, and, and I think it really kept with the spirit of the DS, that sort of innovative spirit. Um, there aren't many better examples of it than, uh, than this thing. So it's called the Guitar Grip, uh, it's from Activision, and it, it's the thing that enabled Guitar Hero to come to the Nintendo DS. And it's actually all thanks to the GBA slot, which was, I mean, the GBA slot, I think solved everything. That was the biggest mistake Nintendo ever made, getting rid of that thing. You know, using this thing really couldn't be simpler, it just, it slides right into your GBA slot on your Nintendo DS Lite, and then that's it, you're ready to go. You just slide your hand in the strap on the back, you have your four fingers on the four buttons, and uh, then you're ready to play. It's that easy. Before we talk about actually using it, let's take a look at the, uh, the hardware itself. This is, this is what it looks like. Kind of a weird shape, but uh, you know, designed to sort of fit in your hand, and fit on the back of your system. Curved at the top so that your fingers can rest comfortably there. It's the only thing that is comfortable about this thing. Uh, more on that later. But it has the same colored buttons that you'd expect from Guitar Hero. Green, red, yellow, blue. Uh, the fifth button, which is normally there on a Guitar Hero guitar, is obviously gone. Um, it's one thing that sort of separates it from the Guitar Hero games. It only has four buttons. But, you know, I think one of the coolest things about the guitar grip is that it actually comes with a guitar pick stylus, which is awesome, right? I mean, like, you know, part of the appeal of the Guitar Hero games and the Rock Band games it's not that they were music simulators. They're sort of, I mean, they're nothing like playing a real instrument, um, but they're more like rock star simulators, right? They, they give you the feeling that you can play a real instrument, even if you can't. And so bringing, you know, selling this thing with a guitar pick stylus um, is just really brilliant. It sort of, it fits right in with the spirit of the franchise, which is you know, bringing that rock star feeling to those of us who, you know, realistically will never be rock stars. We can't even, I can't even play, I can't even play Guitar Hero, let alone a real guitar. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. And this is sort of how you play it, right? Uh, the notes come down on the left screen, or the top screen, it's just tilted sideways. And uh, you pl actually play, you actually pluck guitar strings that are on the touch screen. So you're strumming like this while you're, you know, holding down your frets buttons with, uh, with your left hand. And uh, it actually does have a flip option, so if you're lefty, you can, you know, you can do your weird lefty thing that you lefties do. Of course, the problem is, like, actually using it for any extended period of time. You know, your wrists and your hands are a lot less concerned with good ideas than freaking carpal tunnel, which is kind of what it feels like to use this thing. Uh, it's incredibly stressful on your hands, your wrist, your forearm, uh, because it's just, it's an unnatural way to sort of play a video game, I guess. Uh, it just, it's, it feels really awkward, um, or maybe not awkward, but very stressful. Um, it's a lot of exertion on your on your arm muscles. I'm not like a I'm not like an anatomy guy, but I can tell you it feels like shit when, after a while. So much so that at the beginning of the games, here's Guitar Hero on tour. Uh, there's often like a warning, you know, like and Nintendo games always have those warnings, like hey, why don't you go outside and stop playing video games? This one has a warning that's like, listen, if you play this for like any longer than 10 minutes, your arm your arms probably probably just gonna fall off. Although they don't they don't actually say it that way. They uh, sort of softer with their wording. Nonetheless, that's what they're getting at. And trust me, it's true. My arm fell off. Got better, though. I mean, in a way, this is like... Th this is 2008 summed up in one picture, right? I mean, music games were at their apex. They had to be on everything. The Nintendo DS was at its apex. It had to have everything. And, uh... Nintendo really liked to sell peripherals that you used for one or two games and then they sat in your closet forever, as did music games, and that was 2008. There were only a few games that actually used this thing and then Nintendo sort of pulled the rug out from under Activision by releasing the DSi, which this is not uh, compatible with because it does not have a GBA slot. So even Nintendo was like, hey, that was really cool, that guitar grip you guys did. Um, we're not gonna use it anymore. And of course, I gotta thank Kevin from Jersey City, New Jersey for sending this in. Thanks, Kevin. Nice trip through memory lane. And uh, nice, it's good to go back and, you know, appreciate this thing. And, and to really give it its just due. Because, again, from a modern perspective, 
man, hand cramp city and kind of stupid. But uh, you know, it, it, it deserves credit because clever and, uh, and fun for at least five minutes at a time. Check out our review of the game. I'm also going to review that. First, I gotta, I gotta wait till I get feeling back in my digits. It's the Guitar Grip for the Guitar Hero on Tour series. That wasn't really a series, it only lasted a few games, and then everything went to sh. But here it is anyway. Even sh deserves its day in the sun.